You know, the funny thing is my favorite video game, I've actually never thought about it becoming a film. I just never thought about that. And then somehow, some way, I landed on this film, Escape the Field, and I said, wow, a film made for me. <laughs> Thank you very much, Emerson Moore. Let's jump into the review right now. What's up folks and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film Escape the Field which is going to be in theaters on demand and digital May 6th. Now this is brought to you by the director, the writer and producer Emerson Moore uh, who again I'm going to say thank you not only because I think it's a fantastic film but because it's a film made for me um, and as I said, my favorite video game right now as it stands is Dead by Daylight. And if you've never heard of that game, I'm just going to quickly put that it's you. It's 4v1. It's you, three other random uh, folks, uh, online based only, versus one other person. But that person happens to be a killer. You are dropped into a different environment and you are working with licensed killers. So you're talking about the folks of like Freddy, Bubba, and Leatherface. Um, all these folks, Michael Myers, and it's you as a survivor trying to escape against the killer. It's very easy, unpredictable, um, and every game is totally different. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite game. But this this film, it follows the same recipe. And funny thing is, Emerson said he's never heard of the game, and I was like, wow, that's so cool. And like, don't get me twisted. It ain't just the game, it's way more complex than the game because this one's world building in the sense that like, I can't wait to see where this goes next. And this film is layered and layered with clues and secrets that not only are you trying to figure out what's happening with our survivors of this, uh, of, of this film and who the killer is and where the killer is from, but you also are trying to figure out a lot more things like where are they at? why they all connected all these sorts of different things so like this follows some films like you, you know like death on the now i go as far as saying escape room is a good one or even saw in terms of like that mystery thriller aspect but with like a horror element uh circling around it so yeah it's random people who woke up in the field all of them possessing one item trying to figure out where they are who the other folks are and how they can escape and then if it was just that simple, like I said, there happens to be uh, somebody else on the field, uh, you know, making, uh, taking victims if you're caught slipping. Um, so here's the thing. Like I said, ton of clues. You have to pay attention. You have to pay attention to the items. That way you can start to develop. Well, what era is this taking place in? Listen to the dialogue, especially at the end. Uh, it's just a lot of little things that you need to pay attention to. The cast here, um, shall we talk about really quickly? Uh, Jordan Claire Robbins, Theo Rossi, who's just been working really hard. I've been seeing him all over the place. Julian Feeder, um, just, you know, more and more folks that you've seen from different things as well. Interesting thing is that I feel like the cast is so diverse that it, it also adds to the element of unpredictability and curiosity as to like where are who are these characters that they're playing and like what's the connection and i think that helps with the connection with the viewers to these characters to to raise the stakes about the events that are happening so you actually are like fearful for them you want to kind of see you know them survive and what their survival mean what does escaping mean and where the hell are they at you know what i mean and i think like just the building of that alone of diverse cast of talent um and all different different backgrounds of these characters and whatnot i think it just really just comes together just to raise the stake and the investment into the uh, events of this film now it is totally built like a horror film, like without a doubt, because there's the maze, they're in a the cornfield. I'm never going to a cornfield ever again. I think I seen like another movie I can't remember on Netflix that was based in the cornfield and time looping. I'm not dealing with cornfields no more, but yet the cornfield also adds to the element of mystery as well as what's going on. Um, and, and I think the other thing beyond is that like this film continuously stimulates your mystery mind you know your detective hat you're continuously 
trying to figure out what is happening. Um, you even have one character who becomes enhanced and why that character. And then ultimately, you, you want to know who's going to survive, what does it mean to survive, and some other little things in terms of like who should survive. <laughs> and, then, and that, like, it's a little bit of a loop I'm throwing you for there, but like there's so many different things that you just constantly are happen to just go back to the drawing board and sketch like new detail to try to come up with a new solution to what's happening here so it's a really good game of cat and mouse um and 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 with this evil hidden within the cornfield uh i think it just really creates just a very fun adventure or yet yeah, puzzle for this film so listen i enjoyed this film a lot I did because I like the build of it. It's very reminiscent to some other films. So like some of the horror elements and tropes you're very familiar with. Again, it it very rem is very similar to my favorite video game. And I think the concept is always intriguing because it's not so much about a solution. It's always about where can you go beyond this. I think that um you know when you establish like saw when you like oh there's a couple of people that are being held captive and they're in one place and one person escapes what does it mean when he gets back into society or oh, where's the next game's going to happen at here and I, I think that's just more or less the intrigue because like once you figure out the survival of these characters then you want to know more about the world then you're like well uh, is it going to happen again where is it going to happen again who will be the next victims what does the next victims look like and that's where like escape room really follows suit in terms of like the similarities in this film and 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 and, and that um so yeah check it out escape the field again on demand digital and theaters may 6 jump in the comments let me know your thoughts about this when you do and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon Big old bell.